Um, what is like the worst type of model to work with? It's the vibe, man. Like the ones that come in, they just feel like that that you know they running the show, and it's just not that. It's like you know what I mean. At the end of the day, like this is my work, this is my pictures. It don't matter how how much you pay for them. It's mine, unless right. you're paying, you know, for the rights to them or whatever. They just like you know running the show. They telling me about they past experiences or who they work with and what they give to them. And I'm like, bro, you're not paying, you paying for me. You paying for my work. So it, it, it really, them be the worst types, the ones that just feel like, even with rappers too, the ones that they feel like they just running something. And it's just like, if you paying for me for a service, I'm running something. You know what I mean? I'm running the show, so. So explain that, cause you, you just touched into something that was just dope. When you say, um, you paying for me, paying for the I don't care how much you paying the pictures is still yours unless yeah. you pay for the rights. Yeah. Do most people even know? A lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know because they're so used to the people that that uh, ran and grabbed the camera and didn't know the, don't know the business side of, yeah. of with the camera things. And I was, I used to be one of them type of people until I read up on it and so I studied and really like you know like I said fell in love with with my camera and my my extra work. So once I fell in love with it, I was just like okay, so I've been cheating myself this whole time. Yeah. When a when a when a person when a when a client purchases a photo shoot or a video shoot, it doesn't belong to them at all. It belongs to it's the copyright is belongs to the photographer or videographer. Mm. Now the client can purchase the exclusive rights to their video or to their to their pictures to have. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But right now, it's like they, it's leased. It's just like a beat. I got you. You know what I mean? A, when, a, when an artist pays for a beat, they either paying for the exclusive right or they paying to lease the beat out. And, and when they lease it, it still belongs to the producer. You know what I mean? So it's like it's kind of like that. At what point in time would an artist, I can understand in a videographer world with a, a musician or a rapper or whatever want to buy the exclusive rights, but when would a person or a model want to buy exclusive rights to their pictures? Uh, when they're about to uh, purchase, like if they're going to put it on some merch or they're selling prints or, gotcha. you know, calendars, you know, something that they can make, make money off of. Because if I was like, if I was to give them all of their pictures and they didn't have to pay anything, I would lose a cut. I wouldn't get that cut off of the merch that they that they about to make with the the t shirt. So if they, they put the t if they put the picture on a on a on a hoodie and they sell it for forty bucks and they sell they sell sell out and they make a million dollars. I I I you know, I don't get nothing out that deal. You right. know what I mean? Like so it just depends though. Like that's the hardest part because you just never know. Like say if I was to sell them the exclusive rights for five hundred, shoot, you know what I mean. I got that five hundred there, but they, shoot, they might just make a million off of that. That's real. But if I don't sell it to them, I give it to them all. I don't make, I make zero dollars. Just what you made if you paid them, if they paid you to shoot them. Yeah, that's crazy. Um,